Hello everyone. I have a few bird pages laid out. This one is on deck next, this brown creeper. And then this oriole. And then this sparrow. I've done a lot of the prep work since you've seen me do many of these steps before. I've basically gotten it started. So I've got my little brown creeper card and I have a piece of mica. A lot of people have asked where I get the mica and it's from ArtQuest. You can also get it on Amazon. This is just a little coin envelope, the type of coin envelope that you can get at any stationery store. And I'm planning to add a little hole there so that I can do a little piece of twine. I've done some background stamping on this envelope and also on my little rectangular piece of paper that I've scored, folded, and inked and of course rounded the edges. So the next step is, is really just to put this together and the plan is to layer it. So instead of just putting my creeper card square on this envelope, it's going to overlap that envelope. I'll put my little corners on it and attach it so that it goes over the top of this. So there's no, no nothing flipping open in this one. It's just a static pocket where this will be glued down and this will be glued on top of it. And to turn this little rectangle into a proper file folder, I will add this little tag right here, this little index tab. So that's the plan. I'm going to glue these things all together and I'll be right back. So I have these two pieces glued on, my little coin envelope and my little tab. And next, I will use these little um, corners that you've seen me use before. I need to trim the mic just a tiny bit. I discovered that the easiest way to ink these is to leave them on this sheet and ink them right against this little background piece that it's on. It's almost the same as using like a media mat. There. Now I can be sure that they're all go going to face squarely. I don't need to measure anything because this adhesive does not always stay. I just like to add a little dab of glue to the back of each one. And then this should be ready to go. And putting him sideways, actually, the way that a brown creeper sits on the tree is up and down like this. So it's a little bit artificial to place in this way, but considering the whole book together, it makes it a little more interesting if I can have some birds, some of these cards facing in a different direction. Oh, that's Seamus. Usually you can hear Buttercup in the background of my videos, but Seamus is he hasn't been feeling very good. So he's home while Buttercup is out on her walk 
and he's not happy about being alone. Okay, so that's finished. I, I, um, I've been debating about whether I need a button. I haven't closed this file folder yet because I wanted to think about whether I want to add a button and it's so much easier to add it. Yeah, I think why not? Let's put something there. This one's kind of fabulous. Love the color of that. So I'm using my awl to make four little holes to sew my button on. Seamus, you sound so sad. Why don't you just come sit in here? So my button is sewn on. are two more steps. One, to add this, and second, to close up my file folder to turn it into a pocket. So the brown creeper card is just about finished. I just need to add my twine. I'm very happy with the way this one came out. I always like to think about how the pieces will look together as a book. So I think it's visually interesting that I have these two birds that actually perch upside down going sideways so that it just gives us some interest in the direction that the cards are going. So the twine has been added and my brown creeper card is done. Next on deck is this Oriole and I'm using this 49 and Market paper. I cut out this envelope using my Civics Tim Holtz dies, and I plan to do this one on top of the card rather than as a window envelope. So there are really two choices. This one was done as a window envelope, and the others we've done are on top of the card. And I just really like the way you can see the jagged edge of the mica when I do it on top. So that's the plan. I need to glue this little envelope together and attach this
And my base piece will be this. This is a one of the envelopes from the new Tim, Idea, Tim Holtz Ideology collection that I've given a watercolor wash and ink the edges of. And this is a little die cut that I plan to use somewhere. I'm not sure which side of the envelope this will go on. And maybe this button. And that's as far as I've gotten. So I'm going to attach this and I'll be right back. The next step on this Oriel card is to add a button to this little flap. You can see the mica over the Oriel and the way I've attached it with the corners. I did a little bit more background stamping on this envelope that's going to be the base piece. It's going to be hinged up <clears throat> a little bit higher. I just don't want to do it too symmetrical. Just for interest, I'm going to put it a little bit higher so that it creates some interesting angles. This little piece will go here as a label and I'll use some of my little metal pieces over the tops of the ends to decorate it. And I've got my magnets right here and my hinge is ready. So I'm going to glue these pieces down and sew my button on here, and I'll be right back. So my Oriole card is almost finished. I've got the envelope glued down. I have attached a button. I've attached this little label to the bottom envelope. I have a magnet glued inside of this envelope, and I've placed this other magnet just loose on a piece of paper onto this spot right in back of the magnet so that I can glue it down, <clears throat> easily glue it down to the right spot so that it'll hold the envelope closed. So I'm just going to add a little glue underneath the magnet and flip it closed and push down. So now my magnet is stuck down on exactly the spot where it needs to be to hold this envelope closed. So just a couple of little tiny things to do. Next, I wanna add two little brass pieces. And I think that this size is better than that size. Just checking it out. Yeah, I think those are a little too big. So I'll use these brass pieces. And I'm going to just add a dab of glue here. And here. Add a few pieces to use to collage underneath this envelope. 
and I think to balance it out, I need a blue stamp, or maybe two, up in this corner. This is a real stamp. This is a stamp from last year's Ideology. And I really do love these ones from this season. I think there are a few that would go really nicely. Play with these pieces and glue these down and then I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm adding one last collage piece. I decided on this stamp from this year's Ideology. I just can't resist these stamps. I love them. The colors just seem to go perfectly with this project. I like that. So of course in the end, there'll be something filling this pocket and something filling this pocket, like a tag. But I really love the way this label turned out, so I'll be careful not to cover it. So that's another one down. I'm happy with these. Thanks for watching.